It would help if I turned the microphone on. And a very good afternoon to everyone and welcome inside the Golf Club 2. And this is Shenanigans Live. And you are watching Course Hopping here on this Sunday afternoon. Beautiful Sunday afternoon here in West Virginia. I hope everyone's having a great weekend so far. Uh, I was in Lee's uh, early 1981 stream earlier this morning. And uh, Mr. Bellamy was in there. And he said that his son had uh, published his second course. He's only a 13-year-old. So... Um, he's really into course designing, and I thought, what a perfect way to get his courses out there than by putting it on course hopping. So, uh, Mr. Bellamy, if you're watching, I, I was hoping you might be able to stick in here or have your son watch. I'm going to play his course. It's called Forever Autumn. It's called Forever Autumn. So anybody that's out there watching, you want to get in here and play with me, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, we're going to be playing it here, as you can see. Uh, a 13-year-old uh, youth designer, I think that's great for this game. Of course, this game is more for the demographic above of the 13-year-olds. So um, I think now we're going to uh, you know, maybe play this one and try and get a, a, a youth person out there, get the name out there, maybe give him some pointers. Um, you know, he, he already had one course. I haven't played that before, but I'm going to play it when I get the name of that course. I'm going to play it as well. Um, but this one is done by Mr. Bellamy's son. It is called Forever Autumn, so we're going to go right into it now. So we'll head on over uh, to the gameplay. And here we go, guys. Uh, once again, we're playing Forever Autumn. It is normal fairways, normal greens, and a medium fast to green speed. So here we go. Hope everyone's having a great time there in the Twitch stream. I see we have a few viewers in here already. Make sure you uh, hit that follow button if you have not followed this channel before. And uh, if you have anything you want to comment or talk about, just put it in the chat section there. We'll be happy to read your comment on the air as we play through the course. All right, so we're playing blue tees at 7,485 yards. We'll play the first pin set here on course hopping like we always do. And away we go. All right, so what's interesting here, guys, is uh, what I've noticed um, as of late is I'm playing extremely, extremely good with these player clubs. Now, I'm giving up distance. And it's hurting me on some courses. And, and with the Elite Friends Golf Society, by the way, round two has started today. I don't think anyone has played uh, their rounds yet. I haven't really talked to anybody this morning in the society, but uh, I don't think anybody's Hello done there. that. Welcome but it is going to be club. happening, so see, we'll try and get to you the, the times here. when people are going to be streaming and playing their rounds uh, so we can get that out there for you. Uh, but like I said, I'm playing the player club, so this should be an interesting test, being that it's seven, four, eight, five. Okay, we and got a bit here of a we long go. Par so four here. Let's see how this tee shot shapes up. All right. So as you can see, some of the uh, rough and fairway edges need to be smoothed out a little bit, but uh, the undulations are nice. Got a, a bunker right in the middle of the fairway there. All right. So let's give her a shot. Here we go, guys. Ooh, that bunker is right in the way. But I think I'm going to try and go left of it. There we go. All right, why do we not have any audio from the game? That's the question. Just a second, guys, to find out why I'm not getting and from here, any sound we're about 130 yards from the game. Out. Mixer here and find out. Water on. There we go. Let me know if you guys can. Oop. That's too much echo. That's not right. Tests. Test, test, test one, two. Test, test one, two. Man, why is that so echo? Test. Nope, 
that's not it. Test, test one, two. Test, test one, two. That's a little bit better. All right. Still getting a little bit of an echo in my earphones, but we'll just take care of it. Uh, Rich, guys, can you guys hear me okay? Do you hear any echo coming out to you guys? Looks like this is a beauty. All right, that hit nice and soft. Four, Four feet to the hole, you can do this. Let's turn that down a little bit. It's getting a little bit of a... Too loud there in my headset. All right, let's go ahead and plug this in there for the bird. That's a solid birdie. I applaud you. All right. Great start to the yeah, round. Yeah, Rich, I'm going to turn that down. Is that better? Okay, it's time to send this ball on its way. Let me know if that's a little bit better, guys. Still working on my audio issues, that's for sure. All right, thanks, Rich. All right, so it's playing 5, 10, 15. It's playing 187. So the 182 club is the right club. Well, once again, if you just join us in the Twitch stream, welcome in. I'm Coaster Royalty. Looking You're good. watching Course Hopping here on Shenanigans Live. So glad you could join us on this Sunday afternoon playing a course called Forever Autumn that was uh, done by a 13-year-old, Mr. Bellamy's there. son. Okay. was in the Lee stream this morning and uh, was talking about it. So I said, sure, I'll give it a play and put it on course hopping to get the name out there. Green speeds are 160. All nice. right, so we'll put that in there for the bird. Sitting at two under for the round. All right, moving on to the third hole now. Okay, let's, let's send this little ball on its way. Third hole's a five, ooh, 520 yard par four. Yikes. Woo, it's gonna be tough on the player clubs. But I guess if this is back tees are designed for the tours, maybe. This is going to be a really difficult uh, hole. Nice. And we're right around 225 yeah, yards okay, out 227 here. 227 down the hill. All right. So I'm going to give you a, just a little bit of advice. Okay. If you're watching or if you get to watch this after the fact, you'll notice here that you've got yellow slopes, okay, in the box. So if you take a look at this, put the, put the hole right in the middle, all right? And you've got three at the top, three at the bottom, and one on each side. Those boxes, we call them tic-tac-toe boxes. There should be no yellow or red slopes anywhere inside of those boxes. That means that there's a little too much slope, and it's not, I'm not saying it's unfair, um, but this, especially because it's a long par four, that could become a little bit of an issue. So smoothing that out would be something that you'll definitely want to look at. So you want to be able to play, you know, try to play and look at as many angles as you possibly can uh, when you're designing. 
play in 223. Down to him. Plus, you probably, because this is so long, you see how you have rough there in front of the green? You probably want this to have a layup area so you can run it up there. Again, because it is playing so long. Just, just a suggestion. You know, it doesn't have to be anything like that, but uh, especially in this case, it's going to be really difficult to get to that green. Could be in the rough here. All right, as best as I could do from where I was, so we'll take it. How you doing, Vlad? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping in. I saw you in uh, Lee's thing earlier. We were talking to Mr. Bellamy. I'm playing his uh, his uh, course, his son's course. Now, see, it doesn't show those yellow slopes here, and that's what I was saying. Sometimes you just it depends on the angle that you're playing at. Yeah, of course you would check up. Yeah, why not? Hello. Okay, this oh. one to say par. Oh, I didn't mean. No, I didn't mean to do that. All right, Way slide that in there for the par. Hot. And that'll keep you <laughs> at two under for the round. I sound a bit low. Yeah, see, I don't. I've got it all the way up. Ugh. Is that better? Am I sounding a little bit louder now? All right, next stop. Let's uh, let's hope for some fairway. All right, second, fourth hole, four hundred thirty-one yard par four. Is it still faint now? I thought I fixed that last night. I put the, there's a gain thing on here, then I pushed it all the way up. That'd be my microphone. I might have to invest in a blue Yeti. Well, I can't turn it up any louder, guys, so you're just gonna have to deal with it. Sorry about that. I'm just gonna have to figure out, I'm gonna have to buy a new microphone, I guess. Nice. And you are about 150 yards from the pin, I'd say. All right, three, six, nine, twelve. Playing 154. I think I'm going to hit the 158 club and just knock it down ever so slightly. It's too much. Like that. All right. Ooh, I've pulled that one a little bit. That's not going to be good. Six. Hope this bites. Yeah, should have took more off of it than what I did. So, not a good shot there. Not a good shot. But uh, yeah, yeah, I did I like uh, Taipan Blue, so Vlad. I haven't though. played it, but yeah, I did watch uh, Lee play it this morning. It was really nice looking. Yes, I have my headphones on correctly, Jack. Thank you. <laughs> Tough putt. Didn't know how okay, much it was actually going to break. All right, and so in the hole. Okay, there so we go. It's going to keep you at two under for the round. Yeah, once this shows okay. over, I'm going to go back in and try and fix my audio again. It's it's actually sounding a little weird in my headphones as well. So we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. It was fine last night when I was doing the show with the guys. All right, here's the first par five of the course. It's looking good. Good drive right down the middle.
How you doing, Boxer Dog? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping into my channel. I saw you followed me earlier. I appreciate that a whole lot. I really do appreciate that. Uh, great match there against um, Lee there on Taipan. Really enjoyed you guys playing that uh, that that course. Uh, yeah, I'm swinging well because I'm hitting player clubs. I, I'm usually hitting the tour clubs, but uh, we're in the middle of this Ryder Cup, and I've went down to the player clubs, so I'm typically pretty good with these things. So it's playing 64, so we just need to knock it down just a little bit. There we go. This should check up nicely. Bang. Exactly what I wanted, so that's a perfect uh, pitch shot to this par 5, and that should leave me an easy birdie opportunity. And for the bird. And in the yes. hole we go. So there we go. Three under for the round. Moves me to three under par. Hole okay. six is a 301-yard par four. Looks like we're going to have a dog leg to the left. We might have to. Those trees are going to be a little tall to go over because it's up the hill. So we're going to have to swing it around there. Or maybe not. It's only playing 273. So this might be okay. I don't know if we can muster that or not, being up 16 feet, plus 5 feet at 5 miles per hour in the wind. Hmm. Yeah, I don't... Cause I'm going to carry it right into the bunkers there, so let's, uh, let's just go over top of the trees here. Yeah. Perfect shot. That's what I was wanting. Boxer says he had some swing issues. My thumb wouldn't nice. have <laughs> Yeah, I know that feeling. That's what I happens to be on the tour clubs all the time. All right. So once again, um, Mr. Bellamy, if you want to tell your son, always, always, always try to make the holes not around the yellow. That's a lot of yellow in nine box areas. So try and make sure that you can uh, you know, smooth that out as much as possible. And I probably, because of that, ooh, I don't want to flop it up there because it's going to spin off that hill. So I'm going to have to hit this pitch shot. All right, stay there. Stay there. Nope, it's going to hit that yellow slope. See, that's what we're talking about right there. Because that, that now that should have been a perfect shot, but it hit that yellow slope, and it that's that that's kind of um, kind right, of not good here. for many reasons. But one, you're you're kind of disciplining a a, a a good shot. I mean, that was a good shot. That there's no reason that that should ever come back down the hill. So, got to make sure that those things are corrected. Just not it's not criticizing. Just tr trying to give you guys some hints. Put that in there for nice birdie. Out there for yeah, birdie. he got penalized. That's the word I was looking for. Thank you, Joey Man. You knew Save I was struggling that with that. <laughs> four under for the round. My brain's not awake yet, I guess. Okay, here we go. All right, hole seven is a 224 yard par three, so a decently long par three for the player clubs. All right, uh, let's see, look at all that yellow by the pin. Now that, I mean, it's still bad because there's a lot of it there. So you, you're going to really have to look at your pin placements. That's the only thing because the course is beautiful. I really do like the course, but you're really going to have to look at those greens uh, when you're designing for sure. All right, so it's playing 4, 8, 12. It's playing 2, 28. So that's too much. So I'm going to have to knock this down and hope it gets there. That should roll. Nope. Okay. And that's just the, that's me. They're not having the right club set. So 
nothing I can do there. See that hole? I mean, you can see how bad that is right there. That pin is literally sideways. That can never happen. And it checked up again. Man, these are checking up every time I chip today. Okay, let's see what you can do with his eight footer. This is going to be tough to make. See how fast those beads are going? Yeah, I didn't figure. Well, I whistled touch. Uh, and that's what, and that that frustrates players. And I, again, I'm just giving you some some constructive criticism. But this is going to be nearly impossible to make because here. of that scary. slope. So. I'm going to have to ram it in there and hope it doesn't pop out. Okay. All right, there's your bogey. Good putt there. So I bogeyed a hole that I shouldn't really bogey there, but that's okay. Hole 8, 410-yard par 4. Let's see uh, what you can do. Hmm. put enough on this to the left nope uh, it's gonna roll down into there oh well had the right idea just didn't put enough That's hook on unfortunate. it Wow. Jeez, holy cow. This one's for Birdie. Hmm. Oh, Boy, that turned I right at the last second. I'm going to bug you another one. Okay, let's see what you can do with this seven footer. Nice, that'll work for par. All right. Okay, so that'll keep you at three under for the round. Let's have a nice drive out on this one. Okay, so here's another one. If if anyone was, of course, no one's going to play the standard clubs back here. But you really kind of cut it close there with the fairway. That probably that fairway probably needs to be brought back a little bit more. Nice. So just join us in the fairway. Twitch stream. Welcome in. You are watching Shenanigans Live, and we're doing course hopping here on this Saturday or Sunday afternoon. Hope everybody's having a great weekend. If you haven't followed the channel yet, make sure you hit that follow button so you're always notified when like we go live and do things. Yards from the pin. 10, 15, playing 140. This one's looking dialed in. Should be a good shot. Okay, we'll take that. Nicely done. Solid approach for the birdie here. Too hard. Oh, come on, ball. Too hard down the hill. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of these greens at all. They're just. Okay, let's see what you can do with this seven footer. That'll work. But I will say this if this is one of your first couple of designs, Very the course is laid out beautifully. There's just some, some, some things you need to fix all here and right. there. Let's let it rip. 614 yard par five. Okay, I can deal with that from the back tees if you have tour clubs. It's not. It's not impossible. This one's looking good. If 
apologize for all the notifications you guys are seeing from the from the clan, but they're talking about all their Ryder Cup stuff and C TGC Tour stuff, so you guys will just have to see that. I'm not going to take those off. So it's playing 72. Nice. All right. Sweet. Exactly what I was looking for there on that par five. That's a really good hole there. That is that might be the best hole you've created right there. Really, really enjoyed that hole. Four under for the round. All right. So after the tenth hole, four under par with one bogey in there, and that was the hole that had the really severe slope right, in it. So close. we'll take that. Oh, this is a nice looking hole. I like how it's. You might want to add a little bit of scenery around that uh, and not put the fairway because obviously that fairway bank like that's not going to stay there anyway. So. I might want to change that a little bit, but I do like the the, the presence of this hole. It, it's got some, it's got uh, potential, that's for sure. All right, one sixty three. Pulled that one a little bit. Felt that. Beauty. Oh man, this one come up way short. Go. Roll down that hill. Roll down the hill. I knew the hill was there. I was trying, actually trying to get past the hill, but uh, that hill actually helped me out, so we'll take that. Okay, nice approach. All right, 12-footer here. Right in there for nice the bird. All for right, bird. take that. Moving on now Sitting to the 13th hole, or 12th hole, excuse me. A couple birdies here to start out the back nine. Okay, and we find ourselves okay. now on the 12th hole. Let's see what you can do. It's an interesting hill there. All right, looking good so far. Okay, looks like we are about 225 yards to the pin. All right, another big long par four. So he has some long par four, so that makes the course challenging. No problem with that. Uh, uh, okay, it's not completely illegal, but you got a little bowl there. All right. He's playing 218. Where's Heading this one going to go? Green here. This should bounce and head towards the flag. Nope, it's going to roll away from it, isn't it? Oh, is it going to go down that hill? Get down in that bowl. Get down in that bowl. Okay, it did a little bit. We'll take that. And oh, no, yeah, no problem. Glad you guys can here. talk and okay, discuss whatever you birdie. want in the chat room. Doesn't bother me. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> wow. All right, nice little two foot putt. Great putt in there for par. And that'll keep you at five under for the round. Okay, par five here. Right over top of the trees here. Looking good so far. And right down the middle.
that hole really tough there. Okay. I knew it was going to do that, but I didn't expect it to chase like that. It wasn't a downhill slope, so. Okay, we're putting from around 15 feet out. Oh, oh my goodness, that was so close. Man, I am not putting well on this course, that's for sure. Four feet, let's do this. Nice putt, you're in the hole. Okay, so that'll keep you at five under for the round. Okay, it's time to send this ball on its way. Definitely need the tour clubs for this course if you want to score well, because there are some long holes. Nice, should be in the fairway. Okay, about 185 yards left to go here. And this course is difficult. Heading for the green here. Too. Mm, I saw that slope too, but I didn't know how far to play it to the right. Oh well. <sighs> and for the bird. God. Oh goodness, I'm playing it just a little too far out to the left today. I'm forcing myself, right, guys. Everybody knows that I here. struggle on left to right putts. So Solid putt. We're in the hole. And I've never played that course. The beach course, the never round. heard of it. 15th hole coming up. Yeah, I, under, I understand, Joey, man, but that's just, I mean, I've missed how many. I mean, you sit here and watch. How many, how many putts have I missed, you Solid know? Solid swing. Okay, about 130 yards out. 127. This one's looking good. Would love to know how that went so far left. This is for birdie. Man, I can't even see the fly. I hate more. That's way. That look at that flag sideways. Yeah, you can't be doing that. You can't be putting flags like that. That's for sure. I can't even see, so I don't know where this is going. Nope, not even close. <laughs> wow, look at that slope. Yeah, the one thing you're going to have to do here. Uh, Okay, is really smooth out your putting. greens because you can't have greens, you know, on side slopes. You can't uh, have them on yellow nice slopes. But everything there. else of the course is beautiful. I, I, I mean, okay, for so only your second you attempt, it's really, really good. Um, um, you know, I, my, my suggestions are, you know, work on the greens and then keep at it. You know, just keep at it. Watch some videos on uh, some of the, the top good. designers that, they, that actually stream their content out there. Um, if you can get a chance to look at Arctic Fury's work, his is absolutely stunning. Um, but that's the best way to learn. And I'm anxious to, hopefully you're going to get the Golf Club 2019 and work on that game as well. Or somewhere thereabouts.
this one's a beauty. How oh, is that going so far left? Twice. I had to have gone a side slope or something. That's twice in a row it's done that, and I've hit perfect, perfect straight. Okay, it looks like about 18 feet from here. Gonna be, that was going to be magnificent. All right, a little six-foot putt here. Great putt in there for the par. All right. And that'll keep you at five under for the round. 17th hole coming up. Let's see if this one goes left. Yep, it's going left too. There must be a, a uh, phantom wind out there right now because every shot is going left and I'm hitting it straight. So do not understand what's going on. How you doing, Jakey? Good to see you, buddy. Okay, you're on the green. You could say that. All right, this next one for birdie. But I oh, saw that was slightly disappointing. I just don't understand. These, these greens are just really bad. Five footer here. Nothing too bad. Solid par. Well done. Okay, so that'll keep you at five under for the round. All right, let's see if that wind is still 18. out there. Play it way out here to the right this time. Another perfect, perfect straight. Is it going to go left this Looks time? Looks like you'll be in the short stuff here. I mean, a four mile an hour wind should not take it that far left. So there's the inconsistencies of the wind again in the game. So we have about 165 yards to go still. All right, so it's playing 168. Looking good. I think you could probably two putt from here. This one's for birdie. Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. So the, I'm telling you, the one big the complaint that I have for your course is your greens. They need to be smoothed nice out. I mean, tap. how many Finish times did you power. have phantom breaks in there, um, holes on Good yellow slopes? There. But I'm going to give it a three. I'm going to rate that course today. a three. Hopefully All you right, get a chance to watch this and take some constructive right. criticism um, and go back in and maybe fix some of the things. That's going to be a great course if you just do a little bit of work on it. Guys, I'm going to be streaming throughout the day. I've got a lot of society rounds I'm going to be streaming. I've got some other things I'm going to be doing as well as I try and fix all the issues in my stream. So I hope you guys can uh, jo join me. Um, they're just going to be random times. I don't have set times today. I'll get back into my set times tomorrow, but I'm going to spend a lot of the time today trying to fix all the issues with the audio and the things that I have here on my system. But I want to thank uh, Mr. Bellamy for allowing me to play his son's course. Hopefully he can get that criticism back to him and uh, make things even better. Uh, keep going at it. Really thoroughly enjoyed the course, and I hope you enjoyed having your course played um, on a live stream. I um, want to thank everybody in the Twitch stream as well for sticking around. Vlad, Jakey, Mr. Joy Man, for your comments in the section. Hope everybody can join me here in just a little bit. I'll be starting my uh, stream tour rounds. Um, don't know what I'm doing yet, which courses I'm going to play, and what side I'm going to do. might be uh, Jack's. I haven't decided yet, but I am going to be playing that here shortly. So hope you guys can tune in at that time. Just wait for the notification. If you haven't hit that uh, subscribe button or that follow button, please go ahead and do that at this time. Give me a like if you can. And until next time, you've been watching Shenanigans Live, and this is Course Hopping. I am Coaster Royalty, and until next time, we hope you continue to hit the golf ball straight and have a wonderful evening.